Hello, Gary here, and welcome to episode number 9 of Let's Play of East Soldier on the PC, playing through his tool. And the last episode, we made our way through the rest of the Guilty Fire, um, after the incident with Fina and Shion and all that shenanigans a couple back. So, I decided to start off here and we'll spend the, like, today exploring the Devil's Corridor, which should lie just ahead. Ah! Ah! Okay, he's aware of its work. Wait, is that? Oh, cr oh damn it, Unica! Uh, I've got a kind of. Blech. Let's go and get her. Just seen her dad. That was the other thing that happened yesterday, is that we saw her dad. <sighs> damn it. Toll having a heart. Yeah, to start. I'll leave her be. Yeah. Maybe it was fate. Maybe it was coincidence. Either way, have a sword. Yeah. Something we've lost. Where wind is drawn in from the outside and converted to a sinister melody that drives all who hear it mad. Yeah, pretty much actually. Oh, okay, that's fairly straightforward then. Or... There may be some way to negate the sound itself. Hmm. Like... Yeah. And maybe he's just flashing back and seeing things, because that was definitely not a cutscene. They flashed up with a um, to uh, not Tova, Saul Tova um, screen like that last time. Don't have the skills, but I know who might. Yeah. Okay, so we're saying that basically being a demon is going to help. I have to play about boosts there. So we get ourselves at full. So let's do this. Keep running. That's what I'm saying. I should combine the two of these. Totally should combine the two of these. Keep forgetting he's got like super speed as well. Take on these. Take this guy. Crap, now he's. He's not doing as bad, but he's doing pretty bad. Um, yeah, this could not, this might not end well. Um, come on. I've done it. That doesn't nullify the sound. Crap, crap, I'm gonna die. Oh, health. Right, I'm gonna try and get back down to. Ah, uh, come on, quickly. Can make it. Ah. <sighs> Pit stop time. So that should be a nice little bit of health. And also, there's a Roo here. Now, yeah. I'm going to give him a road of fruit. Because that's what I do with Roos. And you've got a ring of it, yeah. Ah, oh, what's that? That could be good. Hmm. Just the consumption of magical energy. Yeah. Thanks, little one. Moreover, I think it should help with. Um, let's have a look. I equip it. I should also be able to travel faster as well. So if we get up to full HP and just charge all the way up here. No, that's not going to work, but at least I got further. Um, I can also transform still as well. So there's that. Say so pit stop in here though. There we go. Not too much not too bad. Um is my HP gonna replenish? Nope. Okay, so I've got to go and work for my for my um like my supper or whatever. Let's go and murder to get some HP back. Come on, Tall, we can do it. 
Uh, if I can get another level up as well, that would also work. So, yay, bouncy things. Can't time that right. There we go. That'll do. Just go and take this on. Hoping that down here there'll be enough of those little fellas. There must be a big one that's spawned on them somewhere. But there should be some stuff across here that will be useful. That'll do. And that's how we get up here. Just use the glide. I saw we, we don't need the Thunder Blade to actually glide. That's always good. And that will allow us to do what we need it to do, which is to heal wounds. So hopefully, if I stand still... There we go. It's not quite as fast as standing outside, but it's better than nothing. Um, so, yeah. Well, so what I want to do is, before I finish, I want to try... I always can like struggle to remember what's near the top of Devil's Tower. So, can I like, kind of power straight up here? If there's anything or nothing worth getting, basically. There's this chest, which contains some more clarion ore. Excellent. That's definitely what I was after. Because that. Boosting weapon strength. He knows what he's doing with clarion ore. He's not going to mess about. Actually, I'm not going to mess about it here either, because I will be taking damage. So, yeah. Let's see. That was doing like six or so last time. Eh, it's about double. It's not bad. Should take half the time, if my maths is about right. So, down here. Oh yeah, it's doing well, yeah. And level up there as well, that was very nicely timed, so it should even increase it further. Take this little fellow on. There we go. <laughs> He's blood up the walls. Yes, I'm a great host. Um, So I think there's an item across here if memory serves. There is, but I can't... Oh, I've got to get it to it the other way. Right. So, across here. And then I believe I've got to drop down onto it and kind of glide across. So, I believe I can drop to there. That's right. Then, there we are. And for our trouble there, we get some banded boots. Um, they look like they're just kind of equipment. Yep, next level equipment. Cobbled together from scrap. Ah, but I can run through the... Now, I can't run through there with them, but I can run through some places with them. I remember last time with um, Hugo went, Oh, cool, so I can just run through the fire with them. Nope. Like that. Um, I didn't intend to do that, actually. Just a nice, well, correlation of incompetence and what I was saying. Anyway, um... So, I can get these guys taken down. I don't want to go off the edge here, you see. That's the problem. Um, there we go. Oh, no, maybe I do. This is a different bit, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, so we're nearly out the other side. Oh, Devil's Corridor wasn't so bad. I guess we just have to make our own way through. Don't take it out, just leave it there, because no one's actually really bothered by it, right? Well, kind of, but yeah. I should also do this, put this back on, to increase the MP, or reduce the MP use, should I say. Right. So we're getting to the business end of the Guilty Fire now. Now, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to try and do all of this in one episode. I think with Hugo I split it into two, because I spent a lot more time on the Devil's Corridor than I might have cared to. Also I think Hugo had some pretty prescient cutscenes uh, with a Pona there. So, between the... Come back here, man. You know I can't get up there. I think. I say that, I'm pretty sure I can't get up there. Maybe if I combine it with this? No. Yeah. So, haven't they got... I haven't got double jump yet. I'm, much, oh, I'm saying, yeah, I'm not sure if I ever get it. But I haven't got it with um, Tull anyway. One of my favourite things, double jump, just the whole second jump part of it, I guess. Gives a different dynamic to the game. Um, 
Maybe we don't get double jump yet though, because I'm guessing that there's the, the way that area is designed, you need to be able to like it, double jump would have made that whole area a lot easier before. Like just directly before. Um right. Now what I want to do here as well as take these all out, obviously. Come on. Can I get him? I know that doing this makes it easier to hit those guys. Um, there we are. Right. I need to sort of aim, like shoot towards the end of this area, essentially. Like down this corner, because there's a... There's a safe point just up the road here, as you may well know. Um, so I'm just going to take these out so they stop attacking me. So, there's a safe point up here. Ah, I'll well, oh, unlock this, might as well, do no harm. These guys seem fairly tame, um, come on then, that'll do. And we get that unlocked, but what we can't do is go through that door yet. Now, in this case, we haven't actually found the medallion yet, come on. Demonize the statue. Um, I, think I also think that's really clever the way they did that. Um, that they made it so it's just like the base statue rather than necessarily a demonic statue, so it can go demonic later on. But uh, for tall, but yeah. So give him that, and um, like increase the strength there. And that's the one I'm saving up for, though. Increase SP gain. So I'm going to not spend any more. I like getting the gear up to top, top scrap, like you know, up to best you can get it, because it helps. But we have this, most importantly. Hiding in plain sight, we have our medallion. But we need to take on like, the four seals, which are these four lamps here. It shows you where they're at, but you might not necessarily know where they're at. That one's by the start. The one previous, I'm not totally sure. That's the place we haven't been yet. And that's the place we've not been yet. Um, so, four seals, four lights, like four... Um, Fire Slight, essentially. So, we'll just crack on. Um, now, the first one is just up the way here. Actually, I do... I, now that I've seen the rest of them, I know where the one that I wasn't sure where what where it was, was. If that makes any sort of sense. It's up here. Um, we have to just basically go wait, up this way for a change. I remember when I was playing through Unica, that took me forever to work out how to get up here. That little sort of, like... I'll show it there. You can just to say, see that there's no side on it to actually go and collect up the, you know, to jump up there, sorry, as I collect these. But yeah, so, number one, seal broken. Um, now we have, just take these on, and I believe it's the one on the left. Um, so I'm going to go that way first. So just shoot up here. It is, cool. So one of those, light that back on, and we'll just use our claws to clear the rest of the area. Now I think the quickest way back is going to be actually the way we came, um, and then up the other side. To get back to the start, we can kind of cut across and duck down, if you know what I mean. The way that we couldn't jump up earlier on. Just left some SP there, I want that. I want all the SP I can get at the moment. Um, yeah, so we want to come up to here, take these guys on, take the boss, take the mummy fire demon on. I'm not sure what they're called though, actually, look it up, so, um, they're quite a pain actually, um, though the offspring aren't particularly strong. Anything where you have to jump and attack basically is a pain in my eyes. Ah, we've got, that's another reason to come this way. We have a chest which contains a cell set and panacea. There's a lot of stuff from cell set here. Um, but yeah, so we'll just get a little bit of an HP boost there. Come back down. There you go. Stop running away. But we're nearly back to. Get out of the way. They are like exploding in my face there. Well, that's not, I was 
talking about it, I will actually have a quick look to see, I assume we're about here? Mm, no, not quite yet. Um, there's the news, is, is it? Check out, I'm saying it looks like this. There. The Zalior, subspecies of the Shalaskan, more powerful in every regard but lacks wings. As it will continually launch its spawn to attack, it's best dispatched first. Yeah, as well we've found out. Um, there's the next one of those taken out, so let's take the advice of the bestiary and just clear these. Try not to step out of the door there as I collect the rest of that. And we'll go and get the fourth and final um, torch, I suppose you call really, aren't they? Um, that was quite effective. We might even be able to squeeze another level in before. Um, I'm going to do that regardless, so I'm actually going to take these on quickly. Um, I want to be the next level up before I take on the next boss. Bosses have proved to be a pain with Toe. Um, I want every advantage I can get. Um, I, I think I over leveled for one of them a little while ago, but then immediately the next one was still a pain in the backside. Is it Velagunda? No, no, oh no, um, not Velagunda. Um, ah, oh, the ah uh, Nick Tilda. That's it, Nick Tilga. Um, I got a bit annoyed with him and decided to go and level up off three or four levels quickly. Um, but then Stryon was still an absolute nightmare. But then again, I've got my level up there without even thinking about it, so that's good. And we'll just switch to this. And there we go. Job, job. The seal has been broken. And we were immediately there as well. That saved us backtracking. Cool. Well, the doy. I could have told you that. I literally did say that to all, in fact. Um, so, yeah. And there's the medallion. Now, I think I'm just going to call it a day there. Um, what level am I at? 24. Uh, seems about the right neck of the woods. Um, yeah, I mean, look at there. Unica's not further on there, and she's 25. There we go. 24, Constructs Chamber. Yeah, it works for Unica, it'll work for Toll. So, in the next episode, we will head into the Constructs Chamber and take on said Constructs. I don't believe this one will be quite as difficult as Nigtilga, um, but I'm ready to be proven wrong. So, until then, thank you very much for watching, take care of yourself, and have a good day. Goodbye!